Hello guys, Giggles here, and today I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about my ban on Twitch. I'm going to do my best to explain as much as I can in about 5 to 6 minutes. Now, the main reason why my stream was banned was because of racism and not being able to control my chat. Those were the two main criteria, but it's actually a lot more complicated than that, and it stretches far, far, far deeper than that. just those two issues. My channel kind of took a turn for the worst when I started taking donations through a text-to-speech program where people could actually donate money and write a message, and their message would be read aloud by a robot on stream. Now, I wasn't the only one who did this on Twitch. There were several other people who did this on Twitch. However, it kind of got out of control for my channel, as well as other channels, but it got really out of control for my channel. At first, people started donating bad jokes and just lewd comments, but then it kind of shifted towards a whole new direction and people started actually donating messages that were just blatantly racist. It should have been my job as a streamer to either disable the text-to-speech or discourage it by telling people to no longer do it, which I did to a small extent, but not as large of an extent as I should have. Instead, I kind of egged it on a little bit because I thought it was funny and I legitimately couldn't resist myself from just laughing at all the crazy jokes. Now, of course, this doesn't set a very good image in Twitch's eyes when you're a broadcaster with thousands of viewers and you're laughing at all these racist jokes, right? Well, anyway, things were somewhat manageable and I didn't really get in too much trouble until one fateful day. And that day was when my live stream was broadcast on Sony Online Entertainment's front page without my permission. My stream was also labeled as an 18 plus mature audiences only stream and they hosted it on their page for everyone, all viewers of all ages, without my permission, without asking me or without my consent. While my stream was hosted on their front page, a racist joke popped up and everyone on Sony Online Entertainment's page was able to see this racist joke and my reaction to it. This obviously did not end very well, as it ended in a giant Reddit post that reached the front page, pretty much just bashing my entire stream and eventually ending up Twitch getting me closed down. However, I was brought back to Twitch after a warning. Twitch told me that, don't do this again, it's okay, we're just gonna give you a warning, but please refrain from using text-to-speech and please refrain from reacting to racist jokes. So this is exactly what I did. I disabled my text-to-speech program, and I refrained from egging on or encouraging any kind of racist remarks or jokes. Completely out of nowhere, my stream was brought down and banned again, just completely randomly while I was playing poker and just chilling and having fun. There was absolutely nothing racist going on, no jokes, nothing, no text-to-speech. My stream was just brought down out of nowhere. I received a phone call and email from Twitch pretty much telling me that they had changed their mind, and that they were instead going to keep me permanently banned for my actions, and that they really weren't going to make it a temporary ban anymore and that they were going to just change it to a permanent ban and that they had just essentially changed their mind. So what does this lead me to believe? What does this lead you to believe, I should ask? Were there things that I did that were my fault? Absolutely. Were there things that Twitch did that were a little bit messed up? Absolutely. Should my page that was for 18 plus audiences only have been hosted on a page for everyone to see? Absolutely not, especially not without my permission. So this was a combination of I think everyone's fault, but I'm not taking away the blame from myself. I obviously did some things wrong, and um, you know what? Who knows? Maybe in culmination, the things that I did wrong deserved me to get permanently banned from Twitch. It was a little bit heartbreaking to have been banned from Twitch, then told by Twitch that I could come back as a warning and then have them essentially just change their mind. And that's exactly what they did. That's the kind of part of the story that you guys might not believe, but it is the truth. Uh, Twitch did ban me, then they unbanned me, and then they banned me several times afterwards in a pretty much just a fight between should we keep him banned or should we not keep him banned? There really were no reasons. They just ultimately decided that they wanted to keep me permanently banned for that one action, and that's exactly what they did. Now, I still get a little bit emotional when I talk about this story. I'm not sure if you're able to tell. This happened over a year ago now, but my Twitch did have over 160,000 followers and I loved a lot of the people who did watch me. I'm very grateful for those of you guys who do still follow me on YouTube. We are now over 35,000 subscribers strong and I can't be happier since when I started. This has just been an awesome experience and I really hope that it continues. So even though one legend, the Twitch legend, has died, another legend has been born, the YouTube legend. So thank you guys for listening to the story. Hopefully this didn't make you feel like I'm some kind of monster. Obviously I've made mistakes just like everybody in this world has and I've learned from those mistakes and I've paid the price. But I am a different person now. As you could tell, 
None of these things happen anymore on my YouTube channel. This was long, long, long in the past. So hopefully you guys aren't deterred from that sense. And uh, hopefully you guys were entertained a little bit by this story. So if you guys liked it, feel free to like it. Feel free to give it a thumbs up. Check out my other stories. Feel free to subscribe. Do all that YouTube crap that nobody likes to hear about at the end of a video. But hey, we say it anyway because we're YouTubers. And I'll see you guys all next time in another video. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. And if we can hit one like, then I'll get banned from Twitch again. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. All right. I'm sorry. I had to say it. All right. Take care, everyone. Peace.